coming down the wrong exit. <laughs> when it comes to playoffs, it's do or die. So I think the mentality of, for all 11 guys in the field is, is really good. And we're, we're out there to throw everything that we can. And if we get a win, we get a win. If we don't, then we go out swinging. And I think these past two games, we've showed that. So I think coming up against Louisville, we're going to do the same thing and hope, hope for a win. Listen to me. Look at it. If there's a line, if there's a line. Look, what, what, the, the post, what does it look like? Higher on the right or the left? No. Higher. Really? The left is higher than the right? Yes. Both sides believe in what they do, so I don't think there'll be much changes. We're going to get after the game. We're going to um, you know, put some energy in and try and play fast. And uh, you know, Louis is going to come out and move the ball around and, and uh, be dynamic in the attack. And you know, I think two teams are going to be taking swings at each other for sure. I think we're in a really good way right now. You know, we've got a, a couple of really good results in the past couple of games. So I, I just, I just think if we keep doing what we're doing, you know, no team can beat us. Put in so much work this year. We're on such a good run, right? Now it's just time to pour it out on the table, right? All together, we go after it in a really good way and enjoy the hell out of this game, all right? Make sure that we got each other's back, right? We're, we trust in each other, right? We have faith in, in the process and what we do, right? Go out there, be us, and enjoy the hell out of it with a passion that we all have, all right? Really enjoy the opportunity that we have today. These two teams, in a lot of ways, are very complementary styles. I mean, it could be a track beat real quick, Mike. And to be honest, it's two absolutely amazing offensive juggernauts. And I think we're going to see some high profile, high offensive tactics right away. Last year, this game at Red Bull Arena. This year, Luke Spencer kicks us off at Slugger Field. Basulovic. Moving toward the corner, slip ball through. Flag is down, ball in front. Grant Jetsing down to get it. Off the head of Luke Spencer. Comes down to Ombi in the area, who twirls a shot in! Brian Ombi scoring an unbelievable goal. And Louisville City have the lead. Cleared as far as Del Piccolo on the ground. Spencer gives it back. Del Piccolo into the box just wide. A tall poke. They just missed putting Louisville ahead by two. And Jetsing heading the ball as he leaps outside his 18. Pull up the left for Olmby. Service popped up off that. A Cutler right on the goal line, punched away, if only for a moment by Laurel. Now second punch in the Louisville City ahead at the half. And if you think about New York, they just need to attack their game plan a little better than they did, I think. Del Piccolo out of the University of Louisville. In swinging ball, headed towards the net. Laurel makes the catch, diving down at the edge of the six. Out of down by Jimenez, and a chance to break out and counter for New York. Skids wide for Flemings. In on Morad, keeping it still. Flemings inside the area, sends it low and in. It deflects, and New York has tied it in the 57th. I started opening my hips and started going at him and I realized he was just backing up and then I just pushed it and then when I look up I, I saw the goalkeeper started advancing to his near post so I just hit it across and, and I look it's in the back of the net. Jimenez, Ombi lets it by, ball through, Ombi shooting wide! It's Velo. What a through ball this is. Najum cutting it across. He'll get a second look. Out in front, shot is wide. Total chaos in New York. Can't stick it in. But deflected straight back. It's Speedy Williams. Wide left of the post. Ballard keeping this in. Stiff armed over the ad boards by Schmoll. Ballard lays it off. Davis service by Lancaster into Laurel. 
And now, extra time to decide the Eastern Conference. Fine, but we need to do the work. All right, we need to do the work. You're gonna make a mistake in front of goal. You find a way to penetrate. No little chips. Be aggressive. This is why we do it. Not to be easy. 10,047 and not one is left. I think if you're New York, you're feeling good right about now as you clawed your way back, you're sitting 1-1, one, one, you've got the opportunity. Not surprisingly, he was the third backup. Great spin by Flemings. He's brought down right at the edge of the area. He's not inside. It's a yellow card. That is unbelievably close. Ethan Cutler, a driven shot, what a save, Red Jetson! How did he get a hand to that? It'll take penalties in the Eastern Conference Finals for the second consecutive year. Bonomo and Rand Jetson. Bonomo scores, calm, cool, and collected, sends Rand Jetson the wrong way, and New York leads. Evan Loro in net, the rookie out of Michigan. Kyle Smith has scored. Douglas Martinez, loaned in April, scored in his first Red Bulls 2 game, has dealt with injuries. The Honduran give New York the lead again. Martinez, just by Rand Jetson, who guessed right. Paulo Del Piccolo, the captain. Del Piccolo, what a save by Laurel, and New York is in front. Credit to Evan Laurel, but Del Piccolo just telegraphed his entire shot, opened up his body. The 24-year-old Frenchman scores. And New York ahead three to one midway through the third round of penalties. It's Sean Tosh against Laurel. Tosh drives it right. And it is 3-2. For New York in the fourth round. 17-year-old Ben Mines. Mines saved by Rand Jetson. And Louisville have a chance to draw level in the fourth round. The message was before, it was just to believe, to have confidence, to have no fear. Uh, and we did that. I mean, no, none of our guys came up short in that sense. You have to give credit uh, to the goalkeeper in, in these two saves. An unbelievable stop! And Louisville can win it now! I mean, what a save that is! A dive to the right, gets the tiniest little bit of deflection. How that doesn't go in, I do not know. And here we go, folks. Last one. It's the hometown kid, Richie Ballard, put Louisville in the USL Cup Final. Ballard scores! Louisville wins it in penalties. They've won the Eastern Conference, and they're through to the USL Cup Final, which will run through Slugger Field on Monday night. Yeah, the resounding emotion for me is just like, is pride. I'm really, I'm really proud of how we approached that game. I'm really proud of how we fought to the end of that game. In PKs, it's, it's, it's really anyone's game at that point, and we just were on the losing side, which hurts. All right, so if we're better than we were at the beginning of the year till now, the reason we have this team is to put you guys into these moments and to, you know, put you through the fire, make sure that you're fire tested, and then come out stronger and better in the end, right? So, you know, as much as it hurts right now, just make sure that this is motivation to get better.